What's up guys, today we're going to take a look at the Spider-Man Retro Carded Wave Rose 6 inch action figure. This is one of only two action figures in this wave that comes with this more retro aesthetic of the card back. And I think that calls back to the more classic appearances on the action figure. The figure is on a plastic tray, he comes with a rose, two interchangeable hands and two high tech looking pistols. Artwork of the character on the left. And we go round to the back of the packaging. We see the same artwork over here. Schematic of the action figure with how you're supposed to use those accessories. Description of the character. More product information at the bottom. And now let's go ahead and get this one open. To unbox the figure, I simply slice off the plastic bubble of the card back so I can store and keep the card back easily. Rose comes with two alternate hands. The right one is a gripping hand with a trigger grip, while the left one is kind of in a pointy pose. Both these hands have a texture to them, showing off the fabric of the glove pieces, and there are also straps on the outsides of the hands. The alternate hands are articulated downwards as well as upwards. He also comes with two black pistols, looking fairly similar to each other, with some realistic features like the rails on the top and the trigger, as well as the pistol grip. And they also have the extended muzzle design. One of them also has an extended clip. And finally, he also comes with a rose accessory, with a green plastic stock and a bright red flower at the top. These are assembled from two separate pieces of plastic, so there is very good color separation. However, it does look a little bit like one of those really blocky Lego flowers to me. With only one right alternate gripping hand, he can only hold on to only one of his pistols, while the pointy hand does have a little gap in the grip, so you can slide that flower into his grip. Rosa's sculpt is quite simple, but he has a couple of defining elements. While most of it is on a basic suited body, the simple elements like the head sculpt and the rose on his coat does give him quite an iconic look. Proportion-wise, he looks a little odd to me. I can't really tell if his arms are just too long or his coat is also a little too long for his body. So the upper part of his body just looks a little bit too long compared to his legs. But apart from that, he looks quite cool as a crime boss with a fairly simple design, jazzed up with a couple of interesting elements. His head skull is a purple plastic with the visor up front painted in a shiny reflective silver paint. I like how the sculpt is done, it is smooth to show how tight fitting the mask sits over his head. Or you can see a bit of definition from his face like his nose as well as his furrowed brows. While the mask is smooth, it also has a couple of small details like the two seams that run from his eyes over the top of his head all the way back as well as a couple of wrinkles. So that's a nice touch. The wrinkles also run down to his neck that is also cast in the purple plastic so you can tell that he wears the mask all over to the top of his head down to his neck. Looking at the upper part of his chest, he's got the colored shirt with a light blue tie. All of that's covered up very neatly with an impeccably ironed outer coat that has buttons down the front, some sculpted pleats, and also some pocket detail. What draws your eyes to his torso is of course that brightly colored red rose that's attached to his coat. His arms have a couple of wrinkles also sculpted, pins are concealed, and he's accessorized with some light blue gloves that have the same texture as the alternate hands. You can see the straps on the outside as well as a bit of fabric texture on the rest of the glove. The back of the figure is also unpainted along with the rest of his white suit, and that runs down all the way to his legs also with the concealed pins and the sculpted wrinkles and seams on his pants. Once we come down to his shoes, he's got a pair of Oxfords on with a black and white color scheme. The shoes are cast in the black plastic and the white paint is applied very cleanly and thickly enough so you don't see any of that black plastic peeking from beneath that white paint. Very neat looking shoes but also has that gangster look to it. So overall it's a very clean and well assembled figure. The color separation is all very distinct so while he's mostly made up of white plastic it certainly pops with the purples, the reds and the light blues. For articulation his head is on a ball hinge so you can spin it all the way around getting just a minimal sideways tilting but he also looks down that much as well as up quite a good bit. Swivel hinge at the shoulders for 360 spin coming out that much with an upper bicep swivel also spinning all the way around and double hinges at his elbows with the pins concealed for a very good range. 
suitable at the wrist for 360 spin as well as swinging in and out. He's got a mid torso hinge and that's covered up by that outer coat but you do get a bit of forward bend as well as backward bend as much as the coat can flex. There's also a waist swivel so you get to spin him all the way around. With the coat being a little long, that's how much you can still get his legs going outwards at the ball jointed hips and also forward and backward that much. The range could be better but it's mostly hindered by that long coat. There's a thigh swivel so you get to spin his legs all the way around. Double jointed knees with the pins concealed for pretty good range for a guy in a suit. There's a swivel just above his shoe and that's disguised by the pant leg so you get to spin out as well as in. He also gets ankle tilt that goes up that much as well as down. And finally ankle pivot that goes outwards and inwards. He comes with a decent amount of accessories so that really lends quite a bit of good playability to this figure. The articulation is also present, however, it is hindered very much by that large overcoat. As you can see over here, I'm trying to get him into a wider stance, but the coat is really limiting the range of the hips and it's also starting to get pushed up and he rides up quite high on the torso of the figure. So I went online to search for a couple of reference pictures of double-breasted coats to figure out exactly what about this suit that was bothering me. So it turns out that he looks kind of frumpy because the coat doesn't taper in over here at his waist. And that makes him look quite sloppy with a sort of baggy coat that does not fit well. But I can understand that design choice because he needs to get that range out of his mid torso ab crunch. The other thing that I noticed is that his coat is too long. So over here I have marked out a little bit of plastic to be chopped off. I used a pencil to mark out about 4 to 5 millimeters of plastic to cut off. So hopefully with a shorter coat, this will help to make him look more tailored and sporty. And while you're marking out the plastic to cut off, you just want to make sure that you also follow the hem lines over here on the original length of the coat. The difference in length over here helps to add some depth to the coat so you know that the front folds over the back layer. And for you to remove that extra plastic off his coat, you'll need a hobby knife, either one of these would do, as well as a set of side cutters. And this is for you to do the minor trimming and small adjustments. And this is what the figure looks like after removing this strip of plastic using my hobby knife. A word of warning, the outcome is quite dependent on your skill with a hobby knife. So it may not be as clean as you'd expect. Mine's a little messy over here on the rear left side, but otherwise I'm quite satisfied with how they turned out. So right now I think that coat is a good length when you look at him proportionally. However, this coat still hinders the outward movement of his legs and it's not great forward and backward as well. It still hinders the range of the legs and it doesn't look good flexing outwards. So what I've noticed on this coat, he's actually sculpted with two slits on the back of the coat. Very much like a coat in real life. So I'm going to make two slits over here so that the figure can get more range in his hips. So over here I've done the two slits in the back of his coat and also rounded off the end of the cut with a round file as shown. So this will keep the slit from tearing itself as you flex that plastic in his coat. So now we're testing out the articulation in his hips and it goes all the way out sideways. Definitely helped by the shorter coat and the two slits at the back. And now we're also testing the forward and backward. It's still hindered on the front, but it's soft enough to flex while the back definitely has its full range thanks to that slit. So now you can see that he's using the full range of his articulation in his hips. Not so much hindered by that coat anymore. And I'm definitely able to get more range and fun poses out of this figure. So here's a quick head swap option. I do think Rose has been drawn in the comics sometimes with a black and red combat tactical suit. But in the absence of a body like that, the head swap with Scourge actually does work quite well in terms of size and proportion. Size-wise, Rose stands at about 6 inches and that's just over 15 centimeters. For size comparisons, here he is with the Kingpin, a tracksuit mafia goon, and two more recent Spider-Man figures. Here he is with Daredevil, Captain America, and Red Skull. For comparisons with other lines, here he is with some G.I. Joe classified series and Star Wars Black series. Rose is a decent figure that's translated well from the comic book design, with small but neatly produced elements like the rose on his coat 
the purple mask and the blue gloves. It's good that he comes with very usable accessories like the pistols and interchangeable hands. The only downside is the overly long coat that hinders the hip articulation, but I hope you find the modification easy enough to execute to get the best out of this figure. This figure receives a recommendation from me. Please like and share this video, let me know what you think in the comments below, subscribe to my channel, or even hit the super thanks button. Thanks for watching, take care, and stay safe.